Welcome to the quick start video for the Olympus Link Wedge program, which is compatible with Windows 7 or Windows 10 computers. This program enables you to send live thickness readings from the Olympus 38DL Plus to the application of your choosing. In this video, we will show how to set up the 38DL Plus with a 38 link wireless adapter and how to configure the equipment to wirelessly communicate with the Olympus Link Wedge program. To start, you'll need to insert the Olympus Link-BT Bluetooth dongle into the USB port under the side door of the 38 link wireless adapter. This dongle is engraved with the words to link to notify the user that this dongle needs to be inserted into the 38 link. Then connect the RS-232 cable to the top of the 38 DL plus. Next, we will turn on the 38 DL plus. We can now configure the 38 DL plus to send thickness readings through a Bluetooth connection. On the 38 DL plus, we will need to configure the save slash send key. This can be done by pressing the setup menu key, followed by the down arrow until system is highlighted. We can then press the right arrow to highlight beeper, followed by the down arrow until save slash send key is highlighted. We can then press the enter key. Depending on what version of firmware is running on the 38DL Plus, the available choices when you press the right arrow would be Save, Send, or Send Plus Save. If Send Plus Save is not shown, the firmware on the 38DL Plus would need to be updated in order to have this feature. If Send Plus Save is chosen, when a user presses the Save slash Send key, the gauge will send the thickness reading to the application, as well as save the reading to the gauge's internal data logger. For this demo, we will choose Send by pressing the left arrow. Next, we will configure the communication settings on the 38DL Plus. To do this, press the Setup menu key followed by the down arrow until COM is highlighted. Then press the Enter key. Next, press the down arrow to highlight output format. Then press the right arrow to change it to F4. We will then press the down arrow until connection type is highlighted and press the right arrow to change it to RS-232. Next, press the down arrow to highlight RS-232 device and press the right arrow to change it to terminal. We will then press the down arrow to highlight baud rate and press the right arrow to change it to 115200. Now that the communication settings are set up for Bluetooth communication, we can press the red measure key to return to the measurement screen. We can now turn on the 38 link wireless adapter by pressing the power button. The LED will glow red as the adapter powers on. Once the 38 link boots up, the LED will glow green and the message shown should appear. We can now set up the link wedge program on the computer. To start, we need to insert the wedge-bt dongle into a USB port on our Windows 7 or Windows 10 computer. This dongle is included in the purchase of the Link Wedge program and is required in order for the Link Wedge program to communicate with the 38 link. This dongle is engraved with the words to PC to notify the user that this dongle needs to be inserted into the PC. Once the dongle has been plugged in, we need to determine which COM port it is using. To do this, we will navigate to the Device Manager. Once there, we will go to Ports, COM, and LPT and click the arrow shown. For Windows 7, the device is shown as Blue Giga Bluetooth Low Energy. For Windows 10, as used in this demo, the device is shown as USB serial device and it is using COM5. The COM port being used will likely differ on your computer. We will use this information when configuring the communication settings in the Link Wedge program. We can now close the device manager and launch the Olympus Link Wedge program. Once the program opens, the first step is to enter in the COM port that the dongle is using. To do this, we will click in the field next to port and type COM5. If we had already set up a 38 link device previously, we could bullet known Bluetooth device and choose the device from the drop down menu and then click connect. However, since this is the first time we are setting up a new 38 link device, we want to make sure Bluetooth is bulleted and then we can click Configure. When the Bluetooth Discovery window opens, we will click Discover. The program will search for nearby 38-link Bluetooth devices. Please allow some time for the program to find the device. 
Once the program finds the device, you will notice it calls out 38 link and then a series of letters and numbers. This is the unique identifier number that is tied to the Bluetooth dongle that is plugged into the side door of the 38 link wireless adapter. We can click the name of the device and then click connect. If successful, you should receive the confirmation pop-up message shown. We can then click OK and then click OK again. This 38 link gets stored as a known Bluetooth device along with its unique identifier number. This way, when you launch the program in the future, you can simply select the 38 link with that unique identifier number from the drop-down menu and then click Connect. If you had multiple 38 link connected devices stored and you wanted to connect to a different one, you could click Disconnect and then select another Bluetooth device based on its unique identifier number. This allows you to easily switch between connected 38 link devices. Within the Link Wedge program, we can configure how we want the data to be sent either in a linear format or in a grid format. We can also choose how we want to display a reading sent with no thickness data, also known as loss of signal, LOS. This can be displayed either as a blank reading or as a zero value. If we choose zero value and press the save slash send key on the 38DL plus while there is no thickness reading on screen, the Link Wedge program will display the sent LOS as a zero value. If we take a reading on the 38DL Plus and press the Save slash Send key, the reading is sent to the Link Wedge program. This confirms that the 38DL Plus is successfully interfacing with the Link Wedge program. Now we can send readings to the program of our choosing. For example, if we wanted to send readings to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, we would leave the Link Wedge program open in the background and open the spreadsheet. Once our spreadsheet was open, we would click in the location we wanted to insert a thickness reading and then press the save slash send key on the 38DL plus. The thickness reading from the gauge will be wirelessly sent to the location we chose. If we then wanted to send a thickness reading to a program like Microsoft Word, we would open the Word document of our choosing, make the Word document the in-focus program, and then press the save slash send key on the 38DL plus. The thickness reading is sent to the location specified in the Word document. Within the Link Wedge program, we can choose how we want the readings to increment, either increment by row or increment by column. Since the table in the Word document is set up to receive readings in individual rows, we will set the linear increment settings to increment by row. We can then click in the table and press the save slash send key on the 38DL plus to send the readings. Notice that after each reading is sent, the cursor increments to the next row. If we had a document with multiple rows and columns that we needed to fill with thickness readings, we could utilize the Excel grid configuration setting within the Link Wedge program. If we choose Excel grid, we then have the option to choose the number of rows or columns the data will be sent to before starting a new row or column. For example, if we look at our Excel document, we have five columns of data we need to send readings to. Therefore, we would choose increment by column and then type in five for the number of columns. Now, when we send the readings to the Excel spreadsheet, the gauge will send readings to five columns and then drop down to the next row, allowing us to send readings to another five columns. The Olympus Link Wedge program was designed to be an easy to use, flexible program, and it should work with most applications or web programs that allow a keyboard entry. It is important to note that not all the features built into the Link Wedge program will necessarily work with every application. Thank you for watching this quick start video for the Olympus Link Wedge program. For more information, please contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.